Hello everybody, this is Ray Ogilvy from Hartsville, South Carolina. Now here's an interesting object. This is a fulgurite. Fulgurite is Latin and it means from lightning. Fulgurites are created when lightning strikes the earth. The fulgurites we're looking at here are made mostly of sand. Sand melts at around 3600 degrees Fahrenheit. Lightning can reach temperatures of over 53,000 degrees Fahrenheit. That's more than hot enough to melt sand. Fulgurites are amazing objects by themselves, but there's more to the story. The fulgurites we're looking at here were unearthed in Algeria, which is located in the Sahara Desert. The Sahara is a vast desert which covers the northern part of the African continent. It covers 3,600,000 square miles, roughly the size of the United States. Most of the Sahara receives less than an inch of rain a year. So you wouldn't expect to see a lot of thunderstorms. But these fulgurites are not that uncommon in the Sahara. So how did they get there? Well it turns out that the Sahara used to be a good deal wetter than it is now. Searching in the Sahara, archaeologists have unearthed the remains of people who lived there about 10,000 years ago. Along with the human remains, archaeologists also found the remains of fish that they had been eating. So what happened to turn it into a desert? Scientists believe that at that time, the northern hemisphere of the Earth was tilted about a half a degree more toward the sun. And that made the northern hemisphere just a little bit warmer. Now you might think that warmer means drier but not necessarily. Not only did the land in the northern hemisphere get more sunshine, but so did the oceans, and this meant more evaporation. And more evaporation meant more rainfall. Our world is such a fragile place it's amazing what just a slight change in temperature can do.